Welcome to PowerPro TV, the LSP mechanism for training and application. The control of locks in an access control system usually involves not only the access control system, but also the power supply used with it. This video will show you how LSP can handle your lock control problems without added equipment by understanding and using our standard product. LSP provides five different methods of controlling locks. The FPO power supply itself, any FPO power supply, the C8 distribution board, the D8 distribution board, the F8 distribution board, and the M8 distribution board. What's the difference between them? Where do I use what? What will work for me? What's most economical? Each method has a reason and a purpose, so let's take a closer look at each and do some comparison. We can use the FPO alone. When we use the FPO alone, we're using the uh, fire alarm interface circuit built within the FPO. I can connect a uh, switch contact directly to the FAI, and when I activate that switch contact, it will control the DC2 output in order to control the lock directly. This is a fail-safe strike. It is now locked with no power apply. If I activate the FPO, you can see that now the lock opens up. Locked again. We can use the FPO alone to power and control fire system door holders. Simply use DC2 on the FPO to power the door holders. Drop the doors by activating the fire alarm interface. An end of line relay can be used for supervision. We can also use it to power a small access system when a fire alarm interface is needed to control egress doors with mag locks and the access control system has the door control relays. A third use for the FPO alone is to directly control a door from a reader with an included relay, such as used in nursing homes for Alzheimer's wards or other similar locations. The next combination is the FPO D8. This would be used where you have multiple doors and the access system also provides the door control relays. In a typical 16-door system, where 14 of them are strikes, two of them are mag locks, all are 24 volts, I would use an FPO with two D8s. Connect bus one of the D8s to DC one of the FPO, which is the blue wire. Connect bus two of the D8s to DC two, which is the orange wire. On the D8, program the strike outputs to bus one and the mag locks to bus two. Each strike now has a fuse in series with it and can be controlled by the access system door relays. Each mag lock also has a fuse in series with it and can be controlled by the access system but will drop out when the fire alarm interface of the FPO is activated by the fire alarm panel. You can use the FPO B100 F8 combination in a situation where you are using the access control system relays to control the doors, and you have 16 doors, again, 14 of them are strikes, two of them are mag locks, but in this case, some are 12 volts, some are 24 volts, some strikes are fail safe, some are fail secure. You can use an FPO with two F8s. Connect DC1 of the FPO to DC in of the B100. Connect B1 of the F8 daisy chain to the second DC in terminal of the B100. Connect B2 of the F8 daisy chain to DC out of the B100. On the F8, program the lock outputs to 12 volts or 24 volts as necessary and the locks to drop out on fire alarm. Each lock now has a fuse in series with it, can be controlled by the access system door relays, 
and the egress locks will drop out when the fire alarm is activated. The F8 will also allow the use of 12 or 24 volt locks wherever needed. The next combination is the FPO C8. In this case, the C8 is a full featured lock control board with both access control inputs and lock outputs. It has eight opto-isolated inputs for interface to an access system, but it's also capable of accepting a normally open, normally closed, or a voltage type of trigger. The C8 has eight outputs to control fail-safe or fail-secure locks, and it provides fire alarm interface by output, the ability to work with two voltage sources, and individual fusing or PTC protection for each output. The C8 also features OutSmart technology, which allows the output status LEDs to illuminate green when the output is set to 12 volts and blue when set to 24 volts. The last combination is the FPO M8 and provides all the access control features of the C8, however, with some major enhancements. A full featured lock control board, the M8 has eight inputs to interface to an access system. It's capable of accepting a normally open, normally closed, or a voltage trigger. It has eight outputs to control fail safe or fail secure locks. Fire alarm interface by output, the ability to work with two voltage sources, individual fusing or PTC protection for each output. However, the M8 also provides software control, monitoring and reporting for each input and output from the network or internet. See the video on iScan for a complete description of this new and revolutionary product. The traditional dual voltage access installation has consisted of two or more power supply enclosures and one or more access control systems mounted to the wall and piped together. LSP has integrated the power, power distribution, and access control into one listed solution. Utilize all of the LSP features and functions with the Unified and ProWire product lines. Save job time and labor while standardizing every enclosure throughout an enterprise. Imagine all systems having the same configuration and wiring, whether installed in Boston, Chicago, or LA. The unified line consists of a single enclosure populated with all necessary LSP boards for the system, and a backplate pre-set up with mounting hardware in place ready for the access control boards and access wiring. All LSP boards in the enclosure are pre-wired at the factory. The ProWire takes Unified to the next step by including all necessary wiring for the access control boards pre-wired into the enclosure with plug-in terminal strips. The only remaining wiring necessary at the site is the field wiring. This pre-wiring saves the integrator both time and labor cost on the job while guaranteeing that all systems are identical. More than just a power supply, LSP provides key information on the system health in every area. The power source may be continually monitored for voltage, current, and fault condition. The access boards may be monitored for live and historical power draw, applied voltage and current values, tamper switch condition, and may be remotely reset. External room temperature and internal enclosure temperature are monitored for operation within user-defined limits. Locks and readers may be monitored for power draw within user-defined limits. And partial or complete coil failures within the lock are detected immediately. Lock cycles are counted for life monitoring and remote on-off and reset is provided. Battery health may be monitored for state of charge, battery expiration time, 
and service interval notification. Remote battery test may be performed on a manual or scheduled basis and battery capacity tracked for proper battery standby time. Mercury Linnell is supported with 4, 8, and 16 door options. AMAG supports both the M2150 and M4000 configurations. Software House is supported through the PSX product line for Ultra and Ultra SE. Other OEMs such as HID, Brevo, Blue Box, Phoenix, and Honeywell are supported with both tie wrap and wire duct configurations. Investigate the Gemini RG series for rack mount application of access control when the A&E specifies racks rather than wall mount. All major access manufacturers are provided. Direct software integration is currently available for Mercury, Linnell OnGuard, Software House Secure, Phoenix, Brevo, and Blue Box with more on the way. Get proactive. Utilize predictive analytics. Experience enterprise-wide power management and offer your customer base greater system uptime and confidence with LSP managed systems. Thanks for your time. I'm Joe Holland from Life Safety Power. Check back with us often for additional training, information, applications, and new product information. Click on any of these video links for related information. This is Graham. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.